Hi guys. Um, so, my dating life and my record, as all of you may know, uh, has not been the best. Uh, I have dated far and few in between good ones. I've dated military guys that were not so great and one that was really awesome. There has been uh, men that were possessive and were not so great and guys that I thought were great that ended up that good and deal. And not to mention that I'm doing online dating, which is ridiculous. So I, it's, it's kind of, I'm, I'm at a whirlwind in, in this whole dating life. And it, and it, it can be tragically, tragically unfair until last night. I ended up going to KJ Farrell's with my friend Katie, who, as you know, is um, my girlfriend from ballet class and college and a whole bunch of other shit. And um, we hung out last night, and she wanted to go to the bar. Katie had just broken up with her boyfriend, and so we decide, I well, I decide to go to the bar, because I wanted sliders. That's really all, I mean, we wanted food and dinner and karaoke, I wanted sliders, and I knew Jimmy was working, and I haven't seen him since he got back from South by Southwest, so I wanted to go. I mean, really, that that's all the sentiment, sentiment that you're going to get from me, is the fact that one, I want to see Jimmy, and two, I wanted pork sliders. There's really nothing more to that than that. When we get to the bar, there is... You know, a douchebag that walks out of the bar. I flirt a little with him. But he's really not... Like, he's the... The... Duh. If you've ever heard the song Douchebag by Patent Pending, you'll understand my... My plight in this. But he never came back. And it was just... It was just harmless flirting. I, you know, hearing the words that came out of his mouth. Like, he was just pomp and circumstance. I just was not interested. But flirting never hurts. However, towards the end of the night, Katie had to go home. She had work early in the morning, and I usually take a ride home with Rob, who is in the band. He lives in Valley Stream, so it's a town over from me, so it just makes sense that he would just drive me home. Um, thank God I spaced out my dr my drinking last night. I have no hangover, thank God. Oh my God. But I spaced out my drinking specifically because I, something told me to just do that. I sang two songs. I sang Just a Girl, which was the first time I've ever done that. Live. I sang three. I sang Bang Bang with uh, Joey, who was my favorite person in the world. I did Just a Girl, Bang Bang, and... Oh, Separate Ways. There we go. From Journey. <laughs> I remembered. I'm dancing. My girlfriend Danielle is on stage. No, her, her friend Christina is on stage. That's what it is. Who coincidentally is named Cece. So, I end up you know, hearing her sing and watching them dance, and I'm, I'm with Angie, and I'm with Danielle, Katie's already gone, I'm with my other, my other feral ladies, and we're just bugging and dancing and really getting along, and this guy in a white shirt comes up at me, and was just like, just dancing, didn't say a word or anything, he was just bugging on that, and he was really cute, not gonna lie, he was really cute, muscled, like you would, not like overbearingly muscled, but enough, and uh, tattooed, like sleeves and he has some on his neck and chest and I'm okay with this not like I have no problem whatsoever and I don't know it was there was just a physical attraction and however we, we got to talking and we danced too and he's a really good dancer um and he ended up just um dancing with me and talk and we so we ended up going to a corner and talking and just talking and I found out a few things about him which were interesting. I'm not going to divulge here. But, um, hi Bennett, I know you're watching. I don't know, it was really cool and he was funny and smart and not the normal Long Island guy. Who, like the normal beef guys like are like that on Long Island are very, go oh, get my protein shake and blah blah blah, let's go do this and do Jager bombs and stuff and he wasn't like that, it was really nice. Um, I got to speak to him on a human level, which most men on Long Island, I'll say again, do not have that specific type of role. Um, it was just, it, it was, it was really nice, and um, we were got a little touchy touchy, and he held my hand, and oh god, it was great. Um, his be his best friend was egging us on to kiss, and I said no, not happening. That's no too early for that. 
but um, he he's 30. He's my age, which was awesome. I don't, I've, I've only dated someone else my age once, I think. Um, no, twice in my life I've dated someone my age. Um, my ex Jester was uh, four years older than me. So, that's the thing. But, yeah, no, it was really cool that we were the same age and he's just so nice. Oh, so, oh God. Gave me his number, kissed me on the cheek at the end of the night, and I'm like, I'm okay with this. Continue. Keep hugging me. I'm alright. <laughs> Showed me a picture of his dogs. He's got two bulldogs, which are so cute. Little puppies. Mm. I wasn't expecting that to happen last night. Wasn't I was just out with my friends. I wasn't expecting to meet anyone. I was going to dance and boogie. He watched me sing, and I was... Don't know how I did it, but I did it! I... I... I don't know. I mean, this awkward person that you see in front of you... I... I don't know. Apparently, I'm entertaining. Apparently, I'm good to talk to. And apparently, I'm cute. Okay. Um, hopefully there is a date involved. We exchange numbers. He may call me tonight. He may call me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to text him, but I don't want to. Because I don't want to come off that psycho bitch. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I can't stop thinking about him. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. Because I've never died. Here's the thing. My caliber of dating has always been about a six, like a five, six, seven. Like, I'm not... I am nowhere near the caliber of what people think I am. Some people seem to think I'm a, I'm a 9 or a 10. Fuck that! No! No, no, do not give me that kind of a headway, please, because it's just... I don't... This guy is so out of my league. Like, he, he looks like a GQ model. So out of my fucking league. So out of my league. And I can't even begin to tell you. I can't even... I I can't... I'm such, I'm such a basic basic white bitch right now because it, it's so I can't even I really can't even I don't use that phrase often or lightly but legitimately I can't even <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go uh make sure to tune in on Sunday for the interweb girls um I just I felt the need to tell you guys what happened because I'm still reveling from it and I don't understand how it even happened I really don't know Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.